Hi, my name is Trevor Dowd, Applications Engineer with DLP at Texas Instruments. This video will provide a brief overview of the new Lightcrafter hardware, GUI, and instructions on how to use video mode for the DLP Lightcrafter 6500 and the DLP Lightcrafter 9000 evaluation modules. Today, I will be using the DLP Lightcrafter 6500, but I will cover information for both evaluation modules. Both EVMs consist of two subsystems. The DLP C900 board includes either one or two DLP C900 digital controllers for the Lightcrafter 6500 or the 9000 respectively, a digital receiver, flash, power management circuits, and supporting digital logic. The DMD board includes the DLP 6500 1080p or the DLP 9000 WQXGA digital micro mirror device and power management circuits. For complete operation, you will also need a USB cable and a 12-volt DC power supply. You can check the user's guide for the recommended power supply part number. You may also need an HDMI cable or connections to other peripherals depending on your operation. Power the board up by connecting the DC power supply to the power supply connector. LEDs D8 and D9 will light up green to indicate that the configuration and power is normal. Also, LED D6 should toggle on and off, indicating that the DLP C900 is operating normally. After 5 seconds, the DLP C900 should display a solid blue curtain, if you're connected to color-enabled optics. Now you can control the DLP Lightcrafter 6500 and 9000 through USB with the free GUI software available to download from the page corresponding to your Lightcrafter at ti.com. Let's take a closer look at the GUI. After installing the GUI file, you will find the files and executable located in the Texas Instruments DLP folder on your computer. Upon opening the execution file, the first tab you will see is the Information tab. At any time, you can come to this tab for easy access to online resources. A static bar of system controls, operating modes, and status information is displayed on the left side of the GUI. The system controls notifies you when the EVM is properly connected and should display your current firmware version information. From the operating mode box, you can command the EVM to enter one of the four listed operating modes. Video mode allows you to display video through a variety of sources, which we will cover later in this video. In pattern mode, you can create a pattern sequence using images from flash. Video Pattern Mode allows you to create a pattern sequence using the video input source as the source of the images. The last operating mode is Pattern on the Fly Mode. In this mode, you can create a pattern sequence using bitmap images which are loaded into internal memory of the DLP C900 via the USB or I2C interfaces. This mode can be helpful to view the pattern sequences before storing images to flash memory. Below the operating modes are status indicators. These indicators show the current state of the DLP C900. For more information on each of these error conditions, please refer to the user's guide. Now, let's navigate to the system settings at the top of the GUI. In the system settings panel, you can control the orientation of the image and LED controls. Throughout the GUI, clicking a Git button reads the current settings on your system, while clicking the Set button programs the settings you input to the board. Please note that some commands may require additional steps before the GUI display is updated. The LED controls allow you to manually control the state of the LEDs or let the internal DLP C900 sequencer control them. There is also an LED circuit control which controls the brightness of the LEDs. Setting the invert PWM causes the LED currents to have the opposite effect on the LEDs due to the current being changed. Now let's check out our first operating mode. Video Mode by navigating to the Video Mode tab at the top of the GUI. The first control is Input Configuration, which allows you to control what you're sending to the EVM. Under Source Select, you can specify between Parallel RGB Interface, Internal Test Pattern Generator, the splash images from flash memory, and a solid color curtain. For example, let me set it to Internal Test Pattern Generator, and let's take a closer look at the Video Mode output directly on the DMD. Changing the internal test pattern changes the output on the DMD. Many customers design their own optics. We also have third parties who provide optics modules and light engines for the DLP Lightcrafter 6500 and 9000. 
For more information and other videos, go to ti.com slash DLP High Resolution. Also, visit our ETE forum for more information on operating the DLP Lightcrafter 6500 or Lightcrafter 9000. Thanks for watching.